Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club your daily dose of health and medical news I am Dr Nandita Mohan and today I am going to talk about a very interesting study Diabetes mellitus we all know is a major public health problem worldwide it involves the dysfunction of the blood sugar regulation resulting from insulin resistance inadequate insulin secretion or even excessive glucagon secretion Now wildagliptin which is an oral hypoglycemic agent it acts by inhibiting the dipeptidyl peptidase 4 enzyme so a recent study was performed in order to compare the effectiveness and safety of wildagliptin 50 mg twice daily dose with wildagliptin 100 mg sustained release tablet taken once daily in type 2 diabetes mellitus patients uncontrolled with metformin monotherapy Now few West Bengal based researchers conducted this randomized open label phase 4 parallel group clinical trial which included around 120 patients all these patients were enrolled and randomized into two groups patients in group 1 they received metformin 1000 mg per day in two divided doses and the tablet wildagliptin 50 mg two times daily while patients in the group 2 they received metformin 1000 mg per day in two divided doses along with wildagliptin 100 mg sustained release tablet taken once daily fasting plasma glucose postprandial plasma glucose and the glycated hemoglobin were all parameters that were measured at baseline at the fourth week eighth week and 12th week visits liver function test kidney function tests and body weight were also measured in the first visit and in the 12th week The results of the study showed that treatment with both wildagliptin 50 mg taken twice daily and 100 mg sustained release formulation taken once daily showed a significant decrease in the HbA1c levels, the fasting blood glucose as well as the postprandial blood glucose levels from their respective baseline values for both the groups. So it was also found that there is no statistically significant alteration of liver enzymes and in serum bilirubin level from baseline to 12th week in both the groups. These findings also affirm the weight neutrality of wildagliptin whether given as 50 mg twice daily or a 100 mg SR dose. Hence the researchers concluded that wildagliptin 100 mg sustained release once daily dose is equally effective and safe as 50 mg twice daily dose in terms of reducing the HbA1c levels, the fasting plasma glucose as well as the postprandial plasma glucose levels. when it is used alongside the metformin 1000 mg so today we have with us one of the authors of this study professor dr nilanjan sen gupta from the department of endocrinology nilratan sirkar medical college and hospital kolkata west bengal india who will be discussing on this topic we welcome you to medical dialogue sir we are happy to have you on board with us thank you very much So firstly if you can just tell our viewers or we rather know DPP4 inhibitors we know are safe and are being used since a very long time as the first line treatment of diabetes mellitus. So in this study in your study how safe did you find this drug to be used in such patients that is either a single dose of 100 mg sustained release instead of two doses of 50 mg each. I think we found no difference so far as safety is concerned between Wildagliptin being being given 50 mg twice daily vis-a-vis the sustained release formulation given once daily and what are the main adverse event parameters that we looked at were the elevation of liver enzymes fortunately there was not any significant change in liver enzymes between the two groups that is a 50 mg given twice daily and 100 mg given sustained release given once daily and the question of hypoglycemia also was addressed there was no difference in hypoglycemic episodes among the two groups in fact none of the groups did have hypoglycemia the standard of care the gold standard in wildagliptin therapy is still now the unmodified wildagliptin 50 mg twice daily is the full dose in patients with normal renal function and when compared with this gold standard regimen of wildagliptin uh, when we used the sustained release preparation sustained release formulation of wildagliptin it came out to be non inferior to the gold standard 
Also, how effective do you think the administration of this single dose of 100 mg SR of Vildagliptin be? Yes, after the safety issue has been addressed, one could thought or one could surmise that Vildagliptin 50 mg given twice daily would theoretically effect a more robust DPP-4 inhibition round the clock 24 hours will suppress the hyperglucagonemia better than when given in a single dose in a sustained release preparation, which may translate into worse glycemic control so far as fasting plasma glucose, postprandial plasma glucose and glycated hemoglobin are concerned with the sustained release, modified uh, extended release preparation formulation of Bildagliptin. Again in this study, we found no difference between the gold standard 50 mg Bildagliptin being given twice daily as compared to the extended release formulation of Bildagliptin in patients uh, who were uncontrolled on metformin and had normal renal function. So at least in this subset of patients, uh, so far as anti-hyperglycemic efficacy is concerned, they, they were absolutely comparable. So personally, which would you recommend? Either a 50 mg twice daily dose or a 100 mg sustained release dose taken once daily? Based on the findings of our study, I would now recommend Vildacliptin to be given as a single 100 mg dose when you want to use Vildacliptin in a patient with intact renal function because any anti-diabetic medication is a medication that has to be taken for an indefinite period. It's a long-term commitment mm -hmm. on part of the patient. The, if the okay. regimen is simple, if the regimen is a once daily one rather than a twice daily one, there is less chance of the patient forgetting and there is also a better chance of compliance. And in my practice, actually, I prescribe a DPP-4 inhibitor after dinner uh, because that is the most convenient time to take tablets like uh, a DPP-4 inhibitor, metformin or, uh, or even a bioglitazone. So that makes life easier for patients with type 2 diabetes who are put on Vildagliptin. And now after this trial, actually, we were looking at the results even before they were published. I've changed my practice in all my new prescriptions. I have shifted to once daily extended release formulation of Vildagliptin where I find the patient is a fit candidate for DPP-4 inhibitor therapy and that also cuts down the cost of therapy. Among very, very many Bildagliptin preparations, if you take two tablets of 50 milligram, that would cost a shed more than a single 50 milligram sustained release preparation of Bildagliptin. And lastly, what more do you have to tell or advise diabetic patients in general? For diabetes patients, of course, uh, you have to consult your doctor, be guided by your physician, be regular on uh, your lifestyle, be regular on follow-up, and all, all the, the, these are the basic ABCs of management of diabetes. But when it comes to Vildagliptin and this study, we have some very positive news for our patients. First, now that Vildagliptin has become affordable to most of the Indian patients. That's a good news. It has become cheaper with the loss of exclusivity of the innovator brand. Number two, uh, with the sustained release 100 milligram of Vildagliptin uh, proving to be equally efficacious and safe as compared to uh, the gold standard twice daily Vildagliptin, one can opt for an easier cheaper, more patient-friendly uh, therapeutic regimen. And now, actually, with this, this sort of sustained release Vildagliptin now can give Cetagliptin or Tenelagliptin, Linagliptin, which are intrinsically uh, long-acting DPP-4 inhibitors are run for their money because this, this now puts a Vildagliptin sustained release 
from this point of view, from this angle, uh, this puts a sustained release Vildagliptin in the same league as Citagliptin, Teneligliptin, Evogliptin, Gemigliptin and Linagliptin, uh, the other DPP-4 inhibitors that are available in Indian market or has been available at some time or the other. It was lovely to have an interaction with you, sir. We are really happy to have received your valuable comments on this particular topic. Thank you. It was my pleasure also to address um, the doctor fraternity and maybe the patient fraternity also uh, through your medium. Thank you very much. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates.